it was in seventh, I was in seventh grade when it happened. And I was surrounded by a group of boys, uh, probably about 10 of them. No one tried to stop it. No one around me even made a remote attempt to notice, even recognize what was going on as something unusual. It was at a homecoming football game um, at Lakeville High School. It's something uh, that's pretty big in the town. Football is really a uh, sort of focus for the town. When I was beat up by these 10 guys, probably about four or five of them were beating me with Coke bottles that were half or full. After the incident, there wasn't really any steps to reprimand the individuals beyond suspending them. Uh, my mother talked to a police officer who told her that it would be best just to let it drop. Ron came out to me after the incident at homecoming. Uh, I remember that the day he told me, he knew he was safe telling me. There was no question in his mind. I officially came out when I was 14. I started coming out to friends of mine when I was 12. After that happened, I started um, noticing a quick uprise in people verbally abusing me, physically pushing me in the hallways. Really, people, a lot of people starting to um, really harass me daily. We'd get obscene telephone calls at home. He was harassed in the gym. He ended up, Ron has asthma, and he ended up having asthma attacks so severe that the paramedics would be called to the school to help him breathe. And it got to the point where uh, my mother and I decided that it was dangerous for me to be living in this town and that I should probably be better off living with my aunt who lived in South Minneapolis. I like I'm John Colburn and I teach seniors in literary arts at, here at the Arts High School and Ron is one of my students right now. Some of the writing has been very direct. He's talked about difficulties that he's faced, uh, uh, hard times with his family, uh, death of a friend, um, difficulties at school, and been very explicit about them. Ron is so honest. There's an honesty in his writing. To be able to be open and honest is uh, very important in the writing program. I used to write a lot about um, the experiences that I went through at Lakeville. I don't write about it a lot anymore just because it's not something that I like to remember and because I really don't think about it being in the such a liberal environment that I'm in now. I think one of the things that was really important in creating a safe environment when Purpose started was that our school started only with two main rules and those rules were respect yourself and respect others. One of the things that we also do is explain to the kids why we have those policies, try to talk about what the policies are there for, who they're really there to protect, but the main thing is to try to get students to see how it is that their behavior is affecting somebody else. Ron is a blast in the classroom. He's, he's a really fun guy to have in, in class. And coming in as a new senior is difficult because the juniors have already been together for a year and built that trust and then some new people come in and uh, and Ron has navigated that extremely well and become kind of a class favorite. Arts High School has probably given opportunities to children to feel safe where they haven't perhaps in their home schools. Ron's experience has been incredible. Uh, the teachers are extremely nurturing. Whenever there's been a problem, everybody hops to take care of it. I think the one point that I begin to realize that I shouldn't be afraid anymore is probably when I moved to uh, South Minneapolis and started seeing so many support groups out there for me, where other people saw me as a real person rather than just, you know, who I loved. It took a long time for me to be able to open up to anyone just because I was so afraid 
that that would happen again.